We used MDF boards while producing our mold for the body. We processed this plate with CNC, made them what we wanted and produced female molds. CNC technology is the process of giving the desired geometric shape by removing chips of different shape and size from the piece. By referring to the project technical driving of the design workpiece in accordance with the standards. This shaping process should be done by means of suitable tools and benches. We try to make this process plates perfect by sanding them with sand sandpaper. Then we finalized our body using carbon fiber and epoxy with vacuum bagging method. Vacuum bagging is the climbing method that uses atmospheric pressure to hold the epoxy coating components of the laminate in place until the epoxy cures. We also use, used CNC cutting while producing our body's cover. We used the buses that we previously determined as the material to be used in our wing production. In order to obtain the wing profile, we preferred cutting it with laser cutting in order to provide a clearer and smoother transition. We combined this profile using glue. At the same time, we wanted to ensure durability by using carbon pipes between the bosses we cut. Laser cutting technology is the process based on cutting materials with the help of laser. To put it simply, it is the process of directing a high and powerful laser output to materials to be cut through the automation system. We used hinges when connecting the control surface to the wings. Finally, we supported the aerodynamic flow by covering the wings with wrapping paper. In this cutting process, we used irons produced for this job. These irons stretch the wrapping paper with the help of heat, ensuring that the paper is integrated with the wing skeleton. We produced the internal structure of the tail just as we produced the wings. In addition, we combined our tails consisting of three parts with the part we prepared using a 3D printer. We used PAL filament for all the plastic part we produced. We produced a bask of balsa to carry the blood bags. We used aluminum for the landing gear because we believe that this material will be durable during landing. We positioned it to fit this tail dragger configuration and center of gravity. To make a static test, after the wing frame connection was made, a water bottle equal to the weight of the aircraft was placed inside the fuselage. Two friends from our team lifted the plane into the air by holding it from the ends of the wings. We used hook and loop type while making our placement so that they can be mounted more easily during the competition. We made these settlements based on the center of gravity. Bolts are used to connect the tail, pipe and body. Carbon pipes from the wings are reinforced inside the fuselage with a carbon insert. We produce the box in which the aircraft will be carried out of foot based on the dimensions specified in the regulation. The truss test was performed on the stern with a precision scale at the base by starting the engine and reading the power from the scale. Several motors are connected with power in the middle ground and signal readings at the other edges. ESC, which enables to control the speed and direction of the motor, was connected to the motor and was connected to the receiver like servo connections. The 2S battery to be used in case of emergency was connected to the receiver as specified in the regulations. The ailerons were controlled from the first and sixth channels of the controller. The elevator was controlled from the second channel, the rudder was controlled from the fourth channel, and the motor was controlled from the third channel. Çıkma, dikme. Daha yumuşak, daha yumuşak. 